Good morning. Good News Friday it is. There is a growing frustration in Brussels and this is good news to me. They don't like the fact that the UK will now be part of the EU Parliament election next month. Many bureaucrats, many people in, the, in Brussels, they hate this because of all the UK populists coming to see them in Brussels. Verhofstadt, for instance, this wonderful man, he suggested that the UK should not be part of the election. Uh, they should be members, but they shouldn't be part of the election. He actually did suggest it, because they are leaving anyway. That's what he said. It's amusing. Another thing that I find amusing is the US Democrats as they are trying to work themselves around this report about there being no collusion between Trump and Russia. I've been watching some of this. It's entertaining. So, it seems to me that they can accept it. And actually, some of them can accept the fact that Hillary lost in 2016. It's just funny, isn't it? And more entertainment will come, I've, I'm sure. Spain. There's a beautiful party in Spain called Vox, populist, nationalist, and they are doing so well. There is a coming, uh, there's an election coming very soon in Spain. And now the Spanish establishment, they are obviously very, very concerned about this, about this coming election. I didn't know that the, Vo the Vox party was doing so well, because now, apparently, they are also um, banned from being part of television debates. I'm not sure about this, but I think it's true. If it is true, this is a horrendous mistake by the Spanish establishment, of course. Vox, it's like a movement now. They are doing very, very well. And this will just increase the popularity of, for them. Uh, this is a funny story. I'm not sure about this one either, actually. It's from the UK. There are local elections coming up in the UK. And this is the Tory party. They are campaigning, going door to door, talking to voters, you see. And they will not mention Theresa, Theresa May's name as they are talking to people. Maybe this is true. Because her name is associated with betrayal. This is true, of course. So I wouldn't be surprised. This just shows you about the globalists. They will never learn. They will never learn. They have to listen to the people. If they don't, they will be called traitors eventually. They will never learn this. All right, finally Salvini, this beautiful politician in Italy. He said, Italians ask us for closed ports, period. That's what he said. And what did he do? Well, he closed the ports, of course. And this shows you the difference yeah, between a globalist and a populist, a nationalist. The populist will listen to the people, and he will be re-elected, of course. And, again, the globalist will never, never learn this. Never. They have to be kicked out and kept out. Right, that's all. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.